hello 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 ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome to another session on how to grow your wealth yeah today we are going to talk about stock trading platform and the stock trading platform it's pretty much similar for every broker so be it in what stock exchange or the brokers they have a platform that is similar to each other but question of the day which brokers will provide you a free trading platform when you open a free account? So which means you open an account, the account is there looking at you with no phone in. So between the period when you open an account until when you start putting money on the account, which I call it the funding gap, which broker will provide you a free platform that you can experience, say for a month or two months or three months, so by the time you start funding your account, you are already a step ahead to start trading. I guess this question goes to the experienced traders in the house. The likes of the Jose and Rico Investing, Kevin Adventures and us. We have Genex Dividend, Passive Tom, Hassan Investing, Free Trader, Mike Finance, Solid Finance, Investing J Jason, Inform trades and investing beginners. So I would like to know please leave me a comment down below And uh, just I would like to have the answers to know if there are Traders out there or the brokers out there that will provide you a free trading platform So I can also try it out You see from the comments and analytics it shows that over 60% of my audience are beginners in in the stock market so that makes it that explains why I'm taking baby steps, you know. When you take baby steps, they pick up with you. You move from one level to another. Last week, we opened a brokerage account. Right now, we are looking at the platform where you can buy and sell or buy and hold. You know, I when I check through the comments, I have some good comments which prompt me to, you know, move it forward. And I really do appreciate all the comments. I like them, so keep coming. I have a good comment uh, down below from uh, Miss Originelle. She said, uh, Victor, my husband and I have been trying to get into trading, but we don't even know where to start. Well, after today, you will see the platform that every broker uses that you guys can use, you and your husband can, you know, start taking advantage of. I also have a question from Jocelyn M. She said, I've been always, I always wondered how trading works. I've been so scared to even trade. So this is like a break loose for me. Okay, Jocelyn, so this is uh, another stepping stone. You can just see the platform for yourself. If it's something that you want, then you can, you know, start trying baby steps. But again, it's just the same platform that each of them utilize. So just to recap, last week uh, we opened a brokerage account. And the brokerage account we opened was with Quest Trade. The reason why I, I chose Quest Trade was because Quest Trade is running a campaign right now. You get $50 in free trade when you open a free account. And that's by using a referral promo code. So if you like, you can use my promo code, which I have it in the description below. There are two ways that you can access my promo code. Uh, the first way is when you go down to my description in any of my investment videos, when you click, just go in there and click on get $50 free trade. When you click on it, it takes you to Quest Trade. And when you try to open an account, and just like we said the other time, we open a margin account, you see my promo code is already in. So you just open your account with my promo code. It's already in. That's the first way you can access the and take advantage of the free promo referral code. The second way is still in my description, you see visit my blog. So you can visit my blog. When you click on uh, the link to my blog, it takes you to my blog. And as you can see right on top, the main banner, get $50 in free trade when you open an account. And when you click on it, it takes you to the same page where you take advantage of that $50. So the way it works is that you get $50, I get $50. It's kind of a win-win. You know, you support the channel, you get 50, I get 50, you're happy, I'm happy, life is good. So that's how it goes. If you can, if you want, you can take advantage of that. So those are the two ways you can, you know,
take advantage of the $50 in free commission. And again, just still in the same port, when I talked about opening an account last time, what I said was that you open an account free of charge with Quest Trade, which means be it a Roth IRA or 401k, tax-free savings or a margin account, it's free of charge. The only time you will start putting money is when you decide to start trading. So you open a free account, it sits there for a while, you have the platform, you practice with the platform before you start trading. So without further ado, let's head over to the platform. So I already have it here on my desktop. So all what I will do is I will just log in. Pretty straightforward. Oh, uh, by the way, just so you know, because this is already the tool, but uh, it will be good for me to show how we get into that tool. So why don't I just go into my account? I'll log into my account, which I have all my info here. Yeah, because it's good we know where you go to have that account. So once you are on the main page of your account, when you go to, you have all these different, you have fundings, you have requests, you have reports, you have account. When you click on account, it now takes you to account, trading, other platform. When you click on other platforms, now is where it takes you to the free practice account. So you can see trade, advanced trading. If you're an active trader or a pro trader, now that's for downloading Mac. So get your practice account. So practice account, this is where you get it. You use this down arrow, you click on it. And now it gives you an option. Practice makes perfect. Your free practice account expired on the 24th of November. So which means I have it for a while, within the period of two months it will actually expire. Now it says download the account. But I already downloaded it. It's sitting here somewhere, so I'm not going to download it again. All I will do is just, you know, go and try to access the account. So the account is sitting here. Okay, it doesn't want to move. Okay, but So now it's here. Now all I will have to do is to log in. So I entered my info, password, and so it's a, it's kind of a practice demo. So it will give you some prompts. So it tells you that you are logged into a demo environment. I click continue, and now it brings me to the main page. So once you are on the main page, you can now customize it the way you want. I choose this workspace because I just want it to get to a point where you can start adding tools and windows. Sometimes when you open it up, it might take you to the standard generic with all the different graphs, like the graphs, uh, the accounts itself. But now we are coming onto like a complete layout with an empty workspace. So this environment you see here is the workspace. So first, let's start with tools. So if you go in up here, it gives you, you know, all the different toolbars or menu. And uh, the first one we'll talk about is the file. So with file, when you go down, you can open an account, you can save an account. You also have um, user preference. So let's click on user preference and see what happens. User preference simply brings you to, you know, order entering level two, hotkeys, outlets. Again, as I said, if you don't like the dark team, you can change it to a brighter team here and press OK or a blue team. But for now, I'm just going to stick with um, what I'm using. I'll stick with the dark team. So I'll click on cancel. So let me start by explaining all all you know the menus we have in the toolbar as well as the main menu you know when you 
when you want to trade, it gives you all these different features. Some of them you don't need. So you can just look at the top of the toolbar. You can use, you can, you know, right click on that toolbar to customize it. So if you want to take off some of those tools, you can just click on, on the show all tools. It reduces it. Or if you want to put it back, you can click on it and it shows all the tools. The same thing with the menu bar. You can right click, you go to the account bar, you take it out, everything disappears and you right click and you bring it back on. So that's how that works. Some people don't like to see a lot of icons um, or they're kind of claustrophobia. They don't want to see a lot of stuff. They might, you can customize it on the right side. But now we're going to talk about the most important tools on Windows when it comes to trading. The first thing we have to do is to open a workspace. The way you open a workspace or a workstation is by just, you see the, the button here? I already have one open, I can delete it up, or I open a new, and you can even name it, you can name it station one or something. So you can just click on it, and it says new station, rename it, you can just put workspace one or station one. And then you can add more as time goes on. But now let's concentrate on, you know, what we see up here, which is the main menu. The first is simply where you, you can click on. When you click on account, it gives you detailed information about your position, your execution, your balance. As you can see here, execution, position, orders, summary. It gives you, um, earlier today, I was trying to check um, a SPY to see how much it costs, how much is a share. So you can check all that using your account. So account is very important. So we'll put it on our workstation layout. The next we go, it's level one. Level one is simply just basic information. It also have an other entry at the bottom that it doesn't give you more details. Level one, you know, when, you, when you're trading, you choose level. You choose level one or level two. So this is level one. I'll close it. Then let's go to level two. Okay, so I click it twice. So this is level two. Level two is detail and client. What happened is that not only does it gives you the bid price or the axing price, it also gives you the venue, which is, you know, like the route. If it's a CSX, Toronto Stock Exchange, if it's Naxda, it gives, or if it's New York Stock Exchange, it tells you right there. And it also comes with an order entry, but I normally don't like to see the order entry attached to the level. So I will use, I will just go up there and, you know, try to see how I can view and I will take off order entry. So when I take off order entry, it's just level two sitting down there. And then sometimes you see it all comes with the green, you know, Sometimes you, you want to customize it because these are all different stock exchanges. You want to make sure the one that you are working on has a different color. So you can come down to this drop menu again. You go to settings. Settings, you choose level 2. And from level 2, you can go to, you have general, font. You can change the font type or you can go to color. When you go to color, you scroll down to levels. And you can see it's now set on Quest Straight Green. You can drop down and change it to Classic. So now you see it have all these different colors. You can see Naxdat. Uh, Naxdat is blue. Um, you can see all the different ones. They have different colors. So once you click OK, you can now customize it the way you want. So that's level two. Again, just a refresher. You see all the account levels, um, options, other entry. You can still find it on tools. It's right here. It's just that it's kind of bookmark for easy access. So if you are someone where, again, as I said, if you don't want to like seeing a lot of options, you can use this window here to minimize it. So that's level two. The next we're going to go to is options. Now, option just gives us... It gives us past activities. So it will give us activities for the last couple of days. Let's say yesterday or the day before. It might even go back to a week. So that's where you go to have activities. It's not so important. So I'll close that up. 
The next you go on to its other entry. Other entry is 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 probably the most important tool when it comes to trading because that's where you buy and sell. You can see your options here: buy and sell. With other entry, you can choose. You can now type in which stock to buy. You can choose which stock to buy. If you want to buy SPY, which is an ETF, you can buy SPY. Or if you want to buy, let's say, Apple, AAPL, that's a symbol for Apple. If you want to buy Apple, you can come down. It gives you uh, what's the cost right now for Apple. Right now, Apple sells for over $220 a share. That's how it works. You can choose your quantity. Choose if you want a bracket order, bracket order where you put a limit, you can do that. So very important, order entry. And those of you who are in sales, when it comes to uh, marketing or sales at a high level, there's always um, order entry analysis, which is a purchase order. So the buyer offers you a purchase order. Once you abide to the terms and conditions, you acknowledge it by giving them a sales order acknowledgement. So very important, order entry. So, so right now I have account, I have level two, I also have order entry. Those are very two important documents or two important tools. Next we go to charts. If you watch the TV, you watch Bloomberg or you watch CNBC, you will realize that they always show all these graphs on the TV. So if you are kind of a TV fanatic, then you like the graphs. So graph will just shows you the fluctuation, how volatile is your share. Uh, if it's going up, if it's coming down, you can customize it. You can bring it down anywhere you want. You can put it beside here. It all makes it look so easy. So those are the four important tools that I've collected so far, but the most important is other entry, that's where you buy and sell. Again, this particular video is just to give you an overview of the trading platform, how it looks, how you can buy and sell. So we are going through all the different tools. So that's other entry. After other entry, we have news and insight. I'm not going to click on that. That's just news, which is, you can get it on Yahoo Finance or, Yahoo, or you can get it by Bloomberg, you can get it anywhere. Then you have stock views. So stock view is important because when you click on stock view, you can now go through all the different stocks within the different shares and stocks within that exchange. So you can navigate through and see what the sales. It will give you details about each of them. But we're not going to spend too much time on that. And then we have from stock view, we have market index. Good. So market just gives you all the different index funds within that particular area. So you can see TXX here is Toronto Stock Exchange. Now it gives you all the different, you see indices. So we can drop down, it will give you different options, um, different dates, and you can either add more. Uh, when we drop down, now you see it gives you all the different uh, market index within this, um, um, within this you know, platform. So we have S&P. We have NASDAQ, we have Russell 2000, which I told you guys the other time. So these are all the market index. Again, market index simply mimics an underlining market. So not to, you know, float everywhere, I will take that off. From market index, you have stock tweets. Stock tweet is just a platform. It's a social media platform which um, traders, investors, entrepreneurs come together to share their thoughts regarding the stock market so it's also important then we have the screener where you can compare and contrast you have time of sales you have p and l calculator is simply uh, your profit or loss so if you make money or you lost money you can always go that and do a review if you make money or not then you have alerts alerts is pretty straightforward it just alerts you if there is any news which quest trade is trying to share you have activities here Again, activities is similar to option. It gives you all your different transactions. You can see my name, what I've done, everything that has gone on through the account, it will show you. You have inbox. Inbox is where if they send you a message, you'll be able to see that. When you look on top, as I said, this is a demo, and it's, uh, it's a demo, and I'm using it as a margin account to practice. 
So Quest Trade, when they offer you this free demo, it comes with a 500,000 holding. So there's 500,000 that you can use to buy and sell. But today, it's an overview. I don't want to buy and sell because when I want to buy and sell, I'll have to choose probably five stocks and then five ETF where we'll buy, hold, and, and, and you know, sell. So again, um, the most important part when you come into this document, account is very important, level is very important, um, the charts, charts are very important, but the most important is order entry because that's where the money is. That's where you buy, that's where you sell, that's where you you experience how to trade. If you want to do limit or bracket orders, that's where you do it. So that's pretty much a, a brief explanation. Once you are done, you can save your save all the information on your workspace or the layout. And then you remember when we talked, we talked initially about user preference. So let me see if I can go back to user preference and see if we can, you know, change from this the dark team to a brother team. So let me click on that and click OK and let's see what happens. So it tells you that the changes you make will, you know, affect whatever you're doing. So I will say, yes, I do. OK, so now that that is done, as you can see, Quest Trade is resetting itself because I've made major changes. I will now, it pops me up, I will now go back and enter my password. So again, all I'm doing right now is to try to see if we can change the team and see if it will take us to a light team, just like um, I mentioned, or just like it says. Again, it gives you the prompt. You click on it. Voila. So if you are kind of wanting something a little bit brighter, this is exactly what we had, but now with a different team. So other entries here. You have um, um, the accounts up here. Account gives you orders summary. You have level two flicking around, and then you have your charts. You know. So again, as I said, uh, this is a, it's a free it's a free um, um, it's a free demo, and the way you get it is because you open a free account with Quest Trade. So between the time that you open a free account till when you start funding your account, Quest Trade will offer you this free of charge, so you can practice how to buy and sell. I call the period when you open your account to when you start funding your account. I call it. You know the funding gap and anytime you're ready because normally if you start trading in the market you need funds so anytime you're ready to start buying and selling then you need a minimum thousand dollars in your account to be able to buy and sell funds you know but with this particular case when you open your account free of charge there's a promo going on which is um, fifty dollars in free trade so you can use my promo code just like i mentioned it's in the description when you use the promo code you get $50 in free trade, I get $50. It's kind of a win-win, all equal. You're happy, I am happy. So again, this is the tool, and um, that brings us to pretty much the end of this. It brings us to the end of this because we've gone through everything. Charts, options, time and sales, P and C. So we've gone pretty much everywhere. So if you find this valuable, please, Give me a thumbs up. I love thumbs up. It's in you. <laughs> thumbs up is in you to give. It's like blood, you know. So give me thumbs up. I like it. Comment down below. Share the video. Again, the question of the day that I had was, do you have other, other um, brokers that will offer a free training platform just like this? Because this is free. I'm just straight on it. It's a demo. It's not real life. Just to let you know, the information you are seeing here is real is real information, but it's one day behind. So it's one day behind. So if today we are, say we are on Friday or Thursday, it's probably Wednesday or Tuesday. So that's how it works. So again, I'll see you on the next video. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.